Aggregate meal or neighborhood lunch programs provide meals and so much more to frail elders in a neighborhood setting, such as a local community center. Marsha Lorenz with Seniors First is here to explain the program and Marsha, welcome. Now everybody's probably familiar with meal delivery services, but this is a whole different idea. This is where the senior goes to uh, a church or a community center to a place for a meal. So tell us about this. Absolutely. So this is different than Meals on Wheels from the standpoint that the Meals on Wheels clients are homebound. Right. And so they, you know, they need assistance in order to get out. But the neighborhood lunch clients are individuals that can get out. Mm -hmm. Some of them can drive. And if okay. they can drive, they can come to the center. So there you know, could themselves. be transportation. So there could be transportation. Right. We provide transportation. So we have vehicles oh, and we great. do routing. So we have 14 congregate dining sites. We like wow. to call it neighborhood lunch. That sounds a little more friendly than congregate dining. <laughs> so um, we have 14 sites throughout Orange County. So they're in, again, churches, neighborhood centers. We have support from the county and the city um, and HUD high rises, um, mm -hmm. basically. So the, the um, high rises that seniors live in that they just come down into their community room sure. in order to have a meal. Um, it's all about socialization. It's all Absolutely. about getting together with their friends, talking about things that are important to them. It's that social connection. And then we also, in addition to the meals, we also provide activities. So there's mm -hmm. all kinds of activities that people can partake in. Bingo yeah. is a favorite. I will just tell you, <laughs> sure. they love bingo. Um, the other thing, we have dance classes, we have educational, health and educational um, programs that come in. Mm -hmm. We take them on outings when we're able oh, to gosh. do that. So there's sure. just a wide variety of things that keep them engaged and keep them active. Now, now, how often, say in a week or in a month, would, would these meals be taking place? So they can come up to five days a week. They operate Monday wow. through Friday. They mm -hmm. operate between 9 and 1, um, roughly. And mm -hmm. so um, it just depends on the individual and what their need is as far as coming to the sun. People come one day a week. Some come three days a week. Some come five days a week. The different... Um, the different dining sites, basically, or neighborhood lunch programs uh, have different capacity limits. Sure. So it just depends on where those are mm -hmm. and how many people it can accommodate um, in order to figure out what capacity is. And you did touch on this. It's that socialization. And I think so many times, you know, our seniors, maybe they, they you know, have moved away from friends or family yes. or work connections, obviously. Yes. Maybe they're retired now and they don't have that social service and that social circle yes. to, you know, have friendships. And, okay, we've mentioned bingo, but, you know, other great activities. Yeah, for them. dance classes. You know, we have some um, people come in and talk about health issues, medication mm -hmm. management, all kinds of things. Anything that would be of, of relevance right. to the senior population that they may need more information about. See, on the programming great. side, there's all kinds of craft activities. There's, um, they play cards, they play dominoes. <laughs> Gosh, I could go on and on. There's just all kinds of activities to keep them stimulated. Small group activities, large group activities. It mm -hmm. just depends on the particular site and what the interest level is of the individuals that go to that particular site. Right. And they talk can, about their soap operas. Oh, they I'm talk sure. About, it's just, you know, it's fabulous. Pictures of the it's grandkids. It's to see it. Yes, and it really we, is. And we even touched on it off camera. We talked about, you know, it is a meal. It's a congregate meal. Yes. Meal yes. or lunch, yes, but that's almost just sort of a small part of it. It is. They talk that the socialization is almost more important than the meal, and it's the same meal that we serve for our Meals on Wheels clients. Mm -hmm. It usually comes in bulk. Sometimes it's pre-plated, but again, it meets all those dietary requirements, um, and so they are getting the nourishment, right? Um, as well as so physical nourishment, I guess nutritional mm -hmm. nourishment and mental nourishment, and, and that and socialization which is so important. Volunteers, I'm sure. Very important to yep. the program as well. Volunteers come and actually help run the activities, help do the, um, since it comes in bulk, if it's not pre-plated, they can help serve the mm -hmm. meals. Um, so there's lots of opportunity for people to get involved. This Absolutely. Is, this is just terrific. Just kind of an alternative to, you know, a, a home delivered meal. And it's it gets those people out and about and gives them something to look forward to. So it's a good thing. So Marcia, thank you so much for telling us about the neighborhood lunch program and all that it offers. Thanks again.